Barber Easter Jr. versus Javier Fortuna, man. I can't wait for this fight, man. I've done so many videos on this already. That's how much I can't wait for this fight. Because I'm going to do a lot of post-fight videos on this as well. Uh, this fight looks the goods, man. These two guys let their hands go. Um, Javier Fortuna, he throws a lot of combinations. So do Robert Easter Jr. You know. But the difference from these two guys is... Um, we all know it's clearly the, the size advantage. So this time, uh, Javier Fortuna will have to take chances. We all know what happened when a little guy tries to take chances, like a Terrence Crawford versus a uh, uh, Gamboa. We seen how that ended up. So um, Javier Fortuna take chances. He's going to end up on his back. Uh, but Javier Fortuna is a fighter, so I'm not surprised. I feel like he'd rather go out on his back than to quit on his stool, like what a lot of fighters do against Lomachenko. But um, those quits look kind of controversial to me for some reason. But it is what it is. Um, like I said, this is going to be a really interesting good fight, man. I just see Robert Easter pulling it off, man. I just see Robert. I feel Robert Easter is much lankier, much stronger. And he's just more focused at this point in his career. He has a title. He's not trying to give that up to anybody. And I'm sure he wants more scrap at the 135 division. Um, he really wants that Mikey Garcia fight. Uh, I don't think that fight's going to happen anytime soon. Because Mikey has plans to fight Lomachenko. And Mikey doesn't want to take a high-risk fight like that.